Hello, my name is Craig and this is Pagan Outdoors. Now this is going to be a quick one. This is in regards to, I've been asked a couple of times, um, being disabled and being sort of mobility impaired to a degree. Um, I use walking aids to get around with. Now generally around the house, shops and stuff, I have a wooden walking cane that I use. But for the woods, sort of 98% of the time, I use um, walking poles. Now these are not your normal walking poles with the straight handles um, that you see in most sort of shops or millets and blacks and stuff like that. Um, these are from a small cottage uh, industry size, uh, I think up in the up in Cumbria way I believe. And um, the lady who designed them designed them with people um, to help with. Um, posture she was an OT herself and um, these poles that I'm going to show you have been used on the like the Appalachian trails in America they've been used for the South Pole tracks and such so they've uh, cut the mustard as it were for me walking around in the woods so what are they basically they are I'm sure this will show it back the front. These are called pacer poles. Now um, it's pacerpoles.com and designed by Rhodes UK. Oh, it's Windermere, sorry, not Windermere. And basically, you can get these as normal sort of three piece. I have them as a, a two piece pole. They have your normal walking foot at the bottom, which you can take off, and there's the carbide tip there. You got this so you can attach a snow sand basket to so they're quite handy for going on the beach with so i do take these on the beach as well um, now what's special about these is i mean you've got the rubber handle so when you're going up sort of steep inclines you can sort of hold on to them if you if it's like a really steep gradient but what makes these special is the handles now there's a left and a right sided handle And basically, I'm going to show you. So, and the idea is, with these, is when you put them on your hand, your arm, your forearm, the forearm is going to be straight, and then your arm goes up, which in, in turn straightens your back and your posture, which for me, having spinal damage, I need all the help I can get. So I've had, so with these, I've had these nine years, I think now. And basically, all you really need is you place your hand on the back there. And all you really need, because um, I have issues with my hands, all I really need is thumb. Let's see, it's thumb on there. Or finger there. I don't even need these fingers. But they sort of wrap around. And as I say, as you... You walk in, your arm's straight, and then your upper arm goes up, which in turn sort of moves your shoulders into the correct position, which in turn sort of straightens your back. So when you're carrying a, a pack as well, it all aids with um, distribution, and rather than sort of hunching forward, the trouble is with the, the walking sticks that go straight up, you're holding that way. So you've got a lot of tension on there. So yet they do make a difference. But by rotating and going that way, yeah, you're helping out your back, your arms more, your wrists more, and your hands more, because you're resting with just these the thumb and the forefinger rather than having to grip on tightly to them. So these are what I use in the outdoors, especially in the woods. So they're called pacer poles. These are in two pieces, so I have a, you know, these ones are carbon top section, aluminium bottom section. Now these are kept at the height. I mean, I can put them down so they're more compact, but I use them all the time. So there's no point in me adjusting them all the time because um, I'd rather just stay at one length. So these are permanently locked in at this position. And I do check every now and again to make sure there's no... Uh, it hasn't slipped down at all but um, with these 
are so I've had the solid what I've done at the bot at the lower nine nine ten inches I've put um, some uh, sniper tape just wrap round just to protect the bottom part so when I'm in the woods and I'm going through sort of like undergrowth and especially sort of the woodland I'm in now there's a lot of um, brambles and creepers lying on the ground so as you're walking through you're constantly going up against them so if I didn't protect this bottom half um, it would sort of shred it wouldn't damage it but it'd scratch the hell out of it but I mean this is the original bit of sniper tape from nine years ago so um, and it's holding its own so but yeah that is the um, pacer pole now I have sort of spare feet and say the sand baskets or a little mesh bag um, so you have a right to left and at the end you see there's like a little colored dot so that's right handed left handed incidentally these you can take out and put a threaded um, like a thread in there which you can attach a camera mount to or a phone camera mount so these can come out and you can put a special little mount in, in there plus I have Nupreon like an over glove that fits over here a bit like a, a gauntlets they use on motorbike handles but these are new prone and they go over here and when your hands in it it comes to about so it comes to about there and you're completely engulfed in new prion. and i've been out in minus temperatures without gloves and the new prion, uh and in the rain and it's kept my hands toasty so but yeah these are face poles when i bought them i think they were about 70 odd quid let's say that was nine years ago so i'm not sure how much they would be nowadays but in regards to walking poles uh i've tried so i did have some other sort of straight handle pairs not a patch on these these have actually helped me with my back as well as just a an aid for walking around with these has, has helped me posture as well so these are brilliant i mean chris townsend from the great outdoors magazine he uses these all the time he's done a couple reviews on these if you want to go over see his reviews um and uh he can't fault them at all either and he's been using them longer than i've used mine so but for um out and about say in the woods or where i tend to be or even if i'm sort of on the meadow or fishing i'm going along a, a bank and that having these um having an extra two points of contact on the floor um to sort of stop me slipping is such a, a bonus especially as um uh potentially if i slip i could break my back again so um having these and using these is a must and um a very good find as well so if you are thinking of or if you have mobility issues or if you um, sort of don't get on with normal walking poles then perhaps these might be the answer now if you're local to me so I'm not in the so if you're local to me um, you're more willing to sort of if you pop over and uh, you can give these a try um, if you're in the area sort of thing so but that's how confident I am that these are good these are really good so um, not so if it's I bought these out my own money I think it must be over nine years ago now but I did get asked the other day about what I use and why I use them so I mean also I mean say I'd walk with one but I can still use one to do a top with part of a tarp set up which I've done in the past um, to raise one end of uh, one of my large tarps to make a um, part of the porch configuration or if I wanted to do a shallow plow point or uh, any such sort of um, tarp setups then I could use the spare because I can walk with one but I need one so I've got one spare when I'm at camp to be able to use it to um, shelter build and such and then I can just walk around the wood with the other one so but yeah that's my sort of 
show this video on what I use for walking around in the great outdoors um, because these are dance are easier to walk with than a normal wooden walking cane that's for certain so I hope that helps the people that asked um, about these and if anyone has any other questions about any of the, the gear I use then if you could sort of drop them in the comment box, comment box below then I can sort of either get back to you personally or I, if you want I could do a video on them so um, if you sort of like what sort of the content I've been doing then if you sort of like and subscribe um, hit the bell icon and whatnot and um, I shall see you in the next video so love and light and I'll catch you on the next one.